All right, everybody. Well, welcome to this webinar. This is Frank Gray with the National Real Estate Post. I'm here with Tom Hutchins from Angel Oak Mortgage Solutions. And this is the fourth time we've actually done this webinar because it's been so popular. Uh, I'm not going to waste a lot of time getting started. I'm just going to let you know we've got, again, Tom Hutchins here. He's a Senior Vice President of Marketing Sales or Sales and Marketing with Angel Oak Mortgage Solutions. Uh, they are the premier top uh, non-QM lender in the country. And if you're not familiar with what non-QM means, if you saw yesterday's show, you'll know. <laughs> it does not mean subprime, <laughs> although although they do handle people with challenged credit, but non-QM means something completely different. And the purpose of this webinar, guys, is to really give you an understanding of um, what non-QM is, of course. But most importantly, is to, when you understand what that buyer profile is, we also want to give you guys today how to find these buyers right? How to go and get these buyers or how to get these loans that don't fit the box, the QM box and where to dig them up. And I tell you, it's not that difficult. It's pretty easy. Not only that, we're going to show you really quickly through uh, Angel Oak's uh, website really quickly on how you can quickly determine what the borrower might qualify for, what type of loan product he might be able to fit into. And then after that, guys, we're going to get you connected to Angel Oak so that you can actually produce marketing materials uh, for yourselves that Angel Oak has for you. You can brand yourself and you can get out there and and uh, dredge up some of this business, which is really important because we're at a point right now where, you know, obviously the refi uh, market has dried up some and we're, we're really just staring at purchase business. And it's a, you know, non-QM business is a great safe way to supplement the pipeline and, and keep it going strong through the spring and into the summer and through the rest of the year. So with that, what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to go ahead and pass the ball over here to Tom. Uh, let's see, make presenter. Tom will bring up his presentation and I'll let you know, Tom, if it pops up, you should have got something there and we got you. Yeah. We see your screen. Okay. Yeah, we see your screen. Okay. So feel free to take it away. So I may mute right, my, well, I'll, I'll mute myself, Tom. I'll, I'll stay muted because it's kind of noisy in my office, but I will unmute okay. and pop in from time to time. I'll tell everybody to a little housekeeping for everyone. Um, we're going to go through this. If you got questions, just there should be a little questions box on your screen somewhere that you can type questions in. We'll address the, all the questions at the end. We, we, this is our fourth time doing this. We're going to get through all this probably in about 30 minutes, 35 minutes, and then we'll open it up for questions at the end. Uh, so with that said, I'm going to go ahead and mute and let you take it away, Tom. Thanks. So, so, so Frank, before you mute, just can you see the GoToWebinar logo that's on my screen as well? I'm trying to. No, we don't see that. We don't see the GoTo stuff. We okay. just we just okay. see the Angel Oak Mortgage Solutions. Um, you know, help millions of non-QM yeah. borrowers slide. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Well, uh, thanks. Thanks for the intro, Frank. And as you said yesterday on your show, we did talk about really differentiating non-QM from non-prime and really subprime. Um, and I think that uh, might have been a reason uh, some of you are on the call today. So thanks, thanks for joining us. And uh, as Frank said, we're going to, you know, we're going to talk about these few things here that, um, you know, how to find the customers, which that's, that's probably the number one question that we get on a, on a regular basis. Is, okay. Yes. Non-QM. Uh, I understand it. <laughs> I see these, you know, see the need in my business to put it in, into my daily daily efforts, but but where do I go and what do I do to find these customers? So we're going to talk about that, then how to qualify them, then we're going to talk about marketing, uh, again, how to find these borrowers, but we're going to give you some tools to, to actually do some marketing for them, uh, and then uh, some other resources. So first and foremost, uh, where, do you, where do you find these borrowers? And, you know, I, I really think, you know, everyone talks about building their referral base and realtors are kind of the gatekeepers of everything that's happening uh, in, in the real estate space. So, you know, since the crisis, uh, realtors have, have been trained um, and have learned, you know, usually through losing deals that they need to be that first gatekeeper and that first filter. So what we found is realtors over the years have learned to simply not even present houses and try to work with borrowers until they are qualified for a, let's say, you know, an agency, a Fannie Mae loan, uh, Fannie Mae, FHA, or what have you. And, and so 
realtors, when we when we find out or they they find out about these non QM products and programs, it's pretty amazing how um, how supportive they are of, of it and how eager they are to learn more. And so, you know, if you're an originator on this call, this should be your your number one priority. Uh, going to your uh, real to referral base, uh, our customers tell us all the time that uh, by bringing these non QM products. To the two realtors, it's actually opening up doors for them, and you know, bringing something new, not just you know, not the same thing that everyone brings uh, to every realtor uh, across the country, but bringing something new. And, and non-QM is still very new. Um, we've been doing this uh, for a little over three years, but it's still new to the entire market. So, you know, working with realtors, educating them on what what kind of loan programs you know, if you're approved with Angel Oak, what kind of loan programs you can actually bring to the table, what kind of buyers, potential buyers, the realtors can start to seek. Um, you know, I think that's that's just really a critical piece uh, and, and the most obvious place for, for you to get started. Um, I did want to clarify one, one thing for those that are not familiar with Angel Oak Mortgage Solutions. We are a wholesale and correspondent lender. So, if, you know, you would if you're an originator, your company would just have to get signed up with us and then you can provide and offer these non qm products to your realtors uh, and that would be through Angel Oak. So uh, I've, we've gotten that question on these webinars before, so I wanted to make sure uh, I clarified that, that for you. So first and foremost, realtors. Uh, get out there and, and spread the word. Uh, the second really primary source for these borrowers is builders. And, and you know, similar to, to realtors, Builders are gatekeepers, you know, but builders have a lot of incentive to get out there and get their houses sold. And so if you can bring products and programs that allow the builder uh, to, to sell more houses, they're going to want to talk to you. Uh, and, I, you know, I, I would see it as a way to uh, a lot of builders, if they don't have their own mortgage company, they're, they, they have their preferred lenders. And this is absolutely a way for you to get on that preferred lender list from the builders because there's a good chance, uh, high probability, that the other lenders they're doing business with aren't offering non-QM products. So get out there to the builders. You know, we, we've, you know, there's a lot of press around uh, builder activities ramping up and growing quickly. And, you know, the way that builder business continues to grow and, and get ramped up is for them to turn these houses. So if they have, uh, if, if the net is wider for loans and buyers, then they're obviously going to turn more houses and turn them more quickly, uh, and, and then everybody everybody wins in that scenario. So yeah. start with realtors, builders. I just want to jump in to uh, yeah. jump jump in real quick, Tom. Just to just to guys see so understand okay. again. Non-QM does not mean subprime. So these are just deals like your self-employed guys that, you know, their, their tax returns don't look great, but they got 700 plus FICO scores. They got money to put down, but they just don't fit. And, you know, um, with respect to the realtors, one thing is, is that after you go through this webinar and after you get connected to Angel Oak, one thing that Tom has pointed out on previous webinars is that you'll be then in a position to when you're real familiar with the, the Angel Oak product, you'll be in a position to do presentations in real estate offices. And they're always looking for people to come in and do presentations. Will you, go to, will you be able to go in and pre present to these people what non-QM means, what this borrower profile looks like? So then they know, aha, I've run into these guys before. And you'll be able to, to, to scoop up that business. And then, Tom, you also, also said that when presenting to realtors, if there's an account executive in their area, oftentimes they'd be willing to come in and, and help present to the realtor <laughs> office. Yeah. Absolutely, Frank. I mean, that's that's the advantage of working with Angel Oak. We have we have account executives across the country, and yes, they can come in and be be the expert in the space. So that you know, if you're new to, to offering non QM products and uh, and would like to have that uh, that comfort level with someone who's who, who does nothing but non QM loans day in and day out, our our account executives do that all the time and right. love to attend those kind, kind, kinds of events. All right, and now going forward on these next these next groups of people to approach, guys, just understand this. He's he's hitting builders now. We're going to go on to a couple more, but builders and the next couple of sources that we're going to lay out to you, you know, they typically have their in-house lending, right? 
guys, they don't do non-QM. Most of these guys are straight QM agency stuff. And they're just like anybody else. When they get a deal in the house and they think they got something going and all of a sudden they run into a roadblock, they'd rather keep that deal going. You know, so if you're the guy that they know or the guy or the gal that they know, aha, this deal's running into a roadblock or even before they make an offer, they go, these guys want to buy this house, but I don't think they're going to fit the box. You could be that preferred non-QM lender in those builders, uh, in those builder subdivisions where they start calling you. So I anyway, I just want to emphasize and, that to make they really clear. And that's huge, Frank. But what's interesting is that if you get on that preferred list and you get the opportunity to to close a loan or two, then you have the opportunity to capture all their business. It's true. And so if they realize, hey, this guy got got this deal done, so why don't I give him this other stuff too? Because he did a great job with it. He got it through. He communicated well. The loan closed on time. I'm going to give him all my loans. And and that's really what we see is that it's it's it opens the door to not just non QM loans. It opens the door to uh, you know. All, all of the production coming from these referral sources. Cool. All right, let's go to the next one. I love yeah. the next one. Yeah, okay, yeah, absolutely. So uh, the next one, as, as Frank mentioned, lead generators and lead providers. Um, what has happened, similar to the, you know, kind of painting the picture with the realtors, but lead gen, gen companies have also felt the, the post-crisis uh, tightening of, of programs and guidelines and everything else so that, you know, they come across these non-QM borrowers all the time. Uh, and in fact, yesterday, Frank, when we were talking, and if, those who didn't see that message, but 51% of Americans have a credit score below 680. So these lead generators, think about it, half the population falls under a 680. So these lead generators, if they're getting credit scores below, you know, whatever, whatever line, but let's just say to, for conversation below 680, they have very limited uh, options of lenders to, to send these, these leads to, and these could be perfectly good, perfectly qualified non-QM borrowers, but they're not going to fall in necessarily to a, the jumbo guidelines uh, or, or Fannie Mae guidelines or you know, even FHA. So, so what we say, go to these lead generators, and we've seen people do this, and, they, and tell the lead gen companies that, listen, I want you. I want these borrowers. And the great news about it is that you're not competing with five other lenders that get this lead. You know, a lot of the lead generation business on the on the A side is who's the first to contact the borrower because that lead is going maybe to three or four people at the same time. So whoever get, gets in contact with the borrower first wins. Well, if you're saying I just want this lower credit score or you know some other parameter somebody who's had a, a credit event or a foreclosure or bankruptcy or something like that the right now the lead generators have nothing to do with that it just it they just hold on to it because no one wants it but if you as an originator went to them and said i want those the, there's two huge points about that one is as i already mentioned the less competition there's not going to be other people getting these leads and two the lead gen companies will, will negotiate a rate for those leads because right now their income on those, their fees on those are zero. So if you go and say, I would like them, you can remember that their starting point is zero. So I think they're going to be pretty negotiable on, on what they're going to charge for those leads. And this we is... can help you even... Yeah, Frank. I was just going to clarify. Lead generators are we're talking about lending tree, lower my bills, these types of generators. Absolutely. Okay. Yes. Yeah, yes. Um, so you know, again, I, I, they're just a terrific source and and really an untapped source, and that's a a big part of the mortgage market, and it's something that you know what's happened with refis, uh, you know, lead, lead generators. Uh, their, their businesses uh, are a little bit down. So great time to, to make those contacts and, and start uh, building up some referrals from that source. So uh, th this, this, this one, other loan officers, is another terrific one. You know, think about uh, banking loan officers. You know, larger banks, they're not going to offer non-QM products. They just, you know, where we are in, in the cycle, they're not participating. So there are LOs that 
frankly see these borrowers all the time and all they can do is tell them no. And the banks don't want to provide no services to these borrowers, but they're not going to provide non-QM loans today. So what you can do is network with these loan officers and say, I'm not trying to take your referral source. I'm not trying to, all I'm trying to do is offer, supplement your offerings through me. And we have lots and lots of, of originators across the country that that's their, that's their number one marketing for non-QM is going to loan officers at lenders who will not sign up with it, with Angel Oak and offer non-QM products. And, you know, think, think of the big banks, think of the credit unions, all of these people offer mortgages, but they're all only going to be offering government and agency loan programs, really nothing else. And, yeah. and this non-QM falls outside of that box. Yeah, I've got, uh, I like to bring this up, but just right where, from my office, I can literally walk to four banks. One of them is First Northern Bank. The other one is Bank of the West. The other one is U.S. Bank. And the other one is Travis Federal Credit Union, all of which I know for a fact have guys in there doing mortgages. They're only handling the bank customer mortgages. That's primarily what they do. These guys never show up at the board breakfasts. They're never in the real estate offices. They literally sit in their banks and take care of the bank customers' mortgage needs. They do not offer anything outside of the QM box. So this is a target rich environment for you guys to get in there. If you were making weekly rounds, if you had, you know, say a dozen small banks in your area that you were made at a point once a week to go in and just talk to those LOs and let them know you can handle their non-QM stuff. I guarantee you, you're going to walk out of there with some business. You're going to get business out of those guys because they got nowhere to send them, just like Tom said. So just keep that in mind, guys. These these smaller banks and credit unions, you know who they are. They're in your area. They're not at the breakfast meetings. They're not at the realtor offices. They're sitting in that bank. You know what I mean? Just trying to handle those bank <laughs> customers. That's all they do. And yep. you're in there going, hey, yep. the guys that aren't working out, here's my cards. You know, and Because you think about it, if you're one of those loan officers, you hate to be the guy that says no right to the customer who's trying to get the deal you'd rather be the guy who says hey we can't handle it but these guys might be able to so at least they're feeling like you're still taking care of them you know so i just this is one of my favorites and, too. and the other and and the great thing about this lead source is that these borrowers have probably already been pre-scrubbed so these los aren't going to send you someone who doesn't have the income and the assets and, you know, they, they're not going to send you what they would deem to be a bad loan. They just don't fit the, the agency box. Right. So these are kind of like pre, pre-filtered leads for you. So it's, uh, it, it's, it's a huge opportunity. Cool. So, yeah. Um, all right. So mo moving on, uh, kind of our, our final primary lead source would be accountants and uh, financial advisors. As, as Frank mentioned earlier, um, one of our uh, more common loans or probably our top, you know, our hottest one right now is our bank statement loan. And bank statement loans uh, are non-QM just because their ability, their documented ability to repay is non-traditional. It's the use of bank statements. So those are self-employed borrowers only. But who do self-employed borrowers work with? They have, a, they have accountants that are doing their taxes. So that accountant who... Um, who knows of borrowers who have great cash flow, terrific credit, but they've really been locked out of the mortgage space since the crisis. This is an opportunity for you to go to those accountants and explain to them what a bank statement loan looks like and for them to keep their eyes and ears open. Because same thing as you know, all, all these people we're talking about, accountants want to offer solutions to their customers and loan originators is absolutely something that, that self-employed borrowers will talk to their accountants for referrals. So going to that source, I mean, what, what was it we talked about yesterday? There's, there's over 15 million self-employed borrowers in the United States. And if they don't have the, the tax return income to qualify for a loan, they've not had any options post-crisis. So now they have options with, with these bank statement loans. Again, these aren't credit issues. These borrowers um, have credit scores well into the 700s. So it's not that they've had any type of credit issues. It's simply income documentation, traditional income documentation is, is their challenge. And, and, and our bank statement program kind of uh, fits that need. Yeah, they got money um, down so, too. 
Uh, yes, money in the bank. Yeah. Uh, so w- wanted to change gears a little bit now, Frank, if I could, just to, to go to uh, to show some resources on our website. Yep. Uh, if, you know, if, if, if you guys, hopefully you're, you're learning something, but just remember our website. It's angeloakms.com right here on, on the page. Angel Oak Mortgage Solutions MS. So angeloakms.com. And this is really kind of your one, one-stop shop for everything uh, you need to do business with Angel Oak. So first, firstly, I just wanted to start out with, if you're not doing business with us, up here in the top right is it find an AD. And this is just a, a nice little resource for you. You click on that, uh, and it takes you to a map. And, yep, here we go. And, and really shows you all the states that we're currently licensed in. It's 35 states. Um, you know, we're, we're getting there. We, gotta, we gotta have a few, few states that we're still working on, but those are coming soon. But what you would do is you would just click on the state, and, and it's going to pop up who, uh, who we have uh, in that market, and then you can contact them directly. Uh, and I apologize. There we go. So, so these, these are the people that we have covering California, has, have, has their nice little pictures, their contact, email, phone number, and all that. So that, that's really the first place to start. Um, secondly, uh, we, we talked about uh, tools. So you, you found um, you found a non-QM borrower, or you're working with a borrower, and they have they have a credit blemish on their credit report that's not going to get them qualified for a uh, standard agency loan. So again, on our main page of our website, this is the place to start. Quick quote, and the name kind of matches the, the purpose of quick quote. It's something that you can just go in very quickly. You know, even when you're sitting across from the borrower, just to kind of get an idea, is this something that Angel Oak would, would be able to help me with? So, you know, we ask you a few questions, and I'll, I'll show you the screen here so you, you see, see everything. But first, we start with credit score. And I mentioned that our credit scores are, you know, 680 and above on, on most of our, our, certainly they average that. So you pick a bucket with, with their credit score. Let's look at a loan amount, let's say, you know, over the Fannie Mae limits. Uh, LTV, our average LTV is, is 72, so I'll say 70%. Housing history, uh, you can see if they've had a foreclosure short, short sale in the last 12 months, 12 to 24, or we'll just say it's been more than 24 and they've been zero times 30. So you, you answer that question, we've got um, purchase, full doc, owner occupied. And immediately, right here, gives you what our options are, loan programs. So you don't have to really concern yourself with the name, but that helps us identify and differentiate them. Our portfolio select product at 70%, it gives you even the rate, 5.625, minimum residual income, how long they need to be from uh, from a bankruptcy, and the same for a foreclosure, and what the reserve requirements are. So, you know, within seconds, you answer a few questions. Let's say, okay, well, I did that wrong. Instead of full doc, I wanted to go with the... 12, uh, we'll just say the 24 month bank statement. So that changes right on the fly for you. So you're right here, bank statement, the rate's 5.99, minimum residual 3,000, and then some other seasoning requirements. Um, it's, it's all right there at your fingertips, Frank. So uh, that, it takes you, takes you 15 seconds. I will tell you, this is certainly you know, not diving very deep. This is very high level, just to give you a frame of reference. So if it meets the needs, potentially meets the needs of the borrower, then you go to the next step. And the next step is right here. You can see it in blue, our pre-qualification request. You can do it from this spot or you can actually do it from our main page as well. But you just click on pre-qualification request. And there it takes you to the next page. And all you have to do is answer a few questions. First and foremost, who's your account executive? But you would pick your account executive. Uh, answer some information about yourself, uh, the, the program that we that you were looking for, going down a little bit further, answer a few more questions. Not all of them are required. They're, they're highlighted in red if they're re- required. Uh, and then you'd upload your 1003, I mean, excuse me, your 1008, your 1003, and your credit report. Any comments that you'd like to give to the account executive would go right here. And then you just hit submit. Right here, you, you submit the form. Um, and that goes to an account executive. We'll get you an answer back uh, in less than 24 hours. Uh, you, 
So you'll usually hear from our account executives a lot sooner than that. And if, you know, that's something you can put in your notes and, as well as if, if you have a, have a special need or a, a, a timeline that you need a response by. Uh, but this goes automatically to, to the account executive. It's a, just a really quick, easy way. Upload that 1003, 1008 credit report and we'll do the pre-qualification request. And really what we're trying to help you with is you know, give you that definitive yes, that this is a loan we can do. We're going to get back to you, uh, terms of the loan, all the information that you're going to need to submit the loan and those kind of things. So that's, that's, that's the pre-qual request, really important. Um, were you going to, um, were you going to go over the, the, I think it was the last webinar you showed. It was so cool where, how we can get the little angel Oak icon put right on the desktop of our smartphone so that we can just click oh, that yeah. and go right into that and just do it right from our phone, you know, so you're out oh, in the field, yeah. you know, yeah. Yeah, you're out in the field. You're talking yeah. to one of the guys at the credit union who can't do non-QM. You're getting the quick details of the borrower, punching in right on your smartphone, and coming up with a solution right there. So it's really easy to yeah. do. Uh, no, thanks for bringing that up, Frank. I, I think I have that right here. So, so yes, as, as Frank mentioned, if if uh, let's say the scenario that you get the borrower sitting across from you in, in your office, you can actually put this on your phone on your smartphone. And you can take this with you, so you can be out in a in a model home with, with a builder, and you can run a quick quote from your phone. So let's let's take just one minute. Uh, so so go to let's say Safari uh, if, if you've got a, an iPhone. Type in Angel Oak MS. It'll take you to this page. Uh, then you're going to want to um, you'll see the quick quote link right there. You click on that. After you do that. You want to hit this little square box with the arrow pointed up. You're on the, you can see the quick quote there in the background. Um, you're going to hit, hit the arrow. That's going to ask you what, what would you like to do? And you want to say add to home screen. So you add it to your home screen. It'll ask you one more time, what do you want to, you can change the name right here if you want to say Angel Oak or but quick quote form is what will pre-populate. All you do is click add, and after you've done add, you're done. And there it is. This is the app that will be on your, your smartphone. So when you go, uh, when you're out in the field, you've got quick quote at your fingertips. And just, and, uh, uh, just to let everybody know, Tom, this is being recorded. We will get this out to you guys. It'll probably go out, if not today, tomorrow morning, the recorded webinar. So this will be here. So if you're frantically trying to take notes and figure this thing out right now, don't panic. We got you covered. Uh, <laughs> you'll, you'll get the, yeah, get the copy we, of the webinar uh, after, after we're yeah, done. I, yes. Simple enough. But, again, if you just go to, our, go to our website on your smartphone and hit the little square box and click Add, it's right there. So pretty simple stuff. Um, yeah. Okay. So uh, just one a couple, a couple other quick things um, from our webpage. If you're not approved with us, uh, first of all, uh, if you're not sure, you can send us send me an email and I'll let you know if, if your company is approved. We have a lot of uh, a lot of companies approved, and your your company might already be approved. And you can just shoot me a quick note, and I'll be happy to uh, to let you know. But if you're not you simply go to our webpage and here's a broker package. And this will take you, I won't click it now, but you can simply just go there, download the broker package. It's, it's a fillable form. So fill out the information and then, um, it, then we're ready to go. It's about a two to three day process to get you approved. So submit something today and we'll have you approved and ready to do business with us by next week. Um, and, and then really the last thing we talked about is, or I want to talk about is, is, like marketing support. Yeah. So one one huge advantage of getting signed up with Angel Oak is that we're going to help you market these non qm products. We already already talked about how you know we we're happy to go and make presentations to realtors and your referral bases. You know we'll do that with you anytime. But uh, if you sign up with us, you're also going to have the opportunity to access our our customizable broker flyers. So I'll just click this right here. Once you're signed in, you're going to have your own username and password. When you log in, uh, we've got some mortgage calculators, but right here, broker flyers. Broker flyers is, is really what we're talking about. And if you want, uh, let's see, I'll show you an example. Here's, here's our bank statement flyer. But this is something, if you wanted to take this out, 
you would click right on this flyer and put your logo. Go down to the bottom of the flyer. So you'll notice there's nothing about Angel Oak on here. You'd put your your name, title, contact information, and NMLS number. Uh, it's got some disclose. You know, if you want, you input your any company disclosures, um, and then then it's your flyer. <laughs> you know, you you've got it right here as a PDF on your dashboard, ready ready to go. Yeah, this is what you print out and take to, you know, all the real estate offices, the banks, you know what I mean, uh, all the other places, the CPAs, you know, the, you know, all the other stuff that we talked about. Um, wonderful. And you have multiple flyers or? Oh, yes. Yeah, we have, we have an entire, entire selection. Let me, uh, yeah, yeah, no, I remember where was that page? Oh, right here. Sorry. Yeah. So, so we have all kinds of asset depletion, bank statements. Great. Um, Combo loans, you know, it's it's really wh whatever you want to take take out and market. We have a niche sheet which has a bunch of our different products. We have product program highlights, which is a really popular flyer. It has just kind of high level each of our products and programs. But again, the key is that it's customizable to you. It would you put your logo, your contact information, and it's your flyer. So awesome. nothing about Angel Oak. It's just a way to help you uh, promote non QM programs. Cool. Well, let's. Uh, that was yeah. awesome, Tom. Let's let's kind of move to the Q and A. And and there's already questions stacking up. And I just want to let you guys know that we're going to get through as many as we can. I'm going to go through some frequently asked questions first. So we'll probably answer a bunch of questions right off the bat, just me and Tom. But uh, okay. And just real quickly, Frank, if I could, just there's yeah. my email address. I, I told people you could email me if you weren't sure if your company was approved. Uh, feel free to email me right there. So yes. Ahead, and Frank. when we send you guys, when we're done again, guys, we'll send you. Uh, an email that will have a copy of the webinar and it'll have all the stuff on there and contact information for Angel Oak, uh, you know, all the assets from this from this webinar. So, uh, but again, we're going to hit some frequently asked questions. And finally, I want to say that we'll do the frequently frequently asked questions real quick first. We'll hit some of your questions that you have um, typed in already for us. Do not worry if I don't answer your question because at the end of this presentation, Angel Oak has the spreadsheet of everybody who's registered and, and signed up and has all the questions there. So they will farm out your question to the appropriate account executive who will give you a call and answer your questions for you. So and that's if we don't Absolutely. get if we don't get to yours. So hopefully we can get to everybody's questions, but uh, you know if we don't, don't panic. You will be contacted and someone will answer your question. So let me go down some of the frequently asked questions. Uh, first one that comes up a lot, Tom, is, is you know, of course, you know, guidelines are guidelines. Everybody has theirs. You have yours. But do you make exceptions on loans? Um, that's a great question. And and uh, the, the really easy answer is yes. And even more, we do that all the time. Okay. Uh, one, of, one of the things to know about us is we, we do what we like to call just common sense lending. We, we manually underwrite every single one of our loans. So we look at a loan and, you know, first, does the borrower have the ability to repay and does the loan make sense? And if, and if those two things are a yes, we're going to work really hard to make a loan for that borrower. Cool. So we make exceptions all the time. In fact, probably more than 50% of our, our closed loans, we've made some type of exception. That's cool. Yeah, like the old days, I remember. I mean, I've been in this since 19, yeah. January of 1987. And back in the old days, it was always do, we were always doing that stuff. Okay, is there – so the best way to see if their company's already approved is, like you said, just shoot you an email, which is up on the screen here, tom.hutchins at uh, yeah. angelokms.com. Yeah. Okay, so make note yeah, that of that, guys. Write that down. Okay, um, here's a – as a newer loan officer, is this a good opportunity to create a niche in the new coming environment given all the potential moves that could be made? And, you know, I'll take a stab at this first and, and just say, yeah, for sure. Uh, newer LO, you're going to be out there in the real estate offices competing for agency products with a bunch of other people right now. Uh, if as a newer LO, you decided, I would say still, of course, continue to do that and compete on agency products. But man, oh man, learn these non-QM products and go out to those non-traditional sources as well, right? Of course, you're going to call on realtors like everybody else. But you're going to go out and call on builders. Not everybody's doing that. You're going to call on other loan officers with small banks and credit unions. Not everybody's doing that. You're going to go out and call on the CPAs and the tax guys and the uh, financial guys. Not everybody's doing that. So as a new LO, it's a wonderful opportunity to to learn these products and go and find them. Um, do, you guys do, any, do you do any agency loans at all, Tom? 
Absolutely, we do not. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we are we are strictly non-QM, um, and, and that's really ha what, what differentiates us in the market is that we do this all day, every day. It's what we eat, breathe, and sleep is just is non-QM and non-agency. So don't come to us for agency loans, but everything else. Cool. Uh, as far as reserves go, a lot of the products, of course, they require some reserves um, or even the down payment on a purchase deal. Can it come from a gift? Yes. Uh, we, we allow 100% gifts on a number of our programs. Um, so, you know, we, we say borrowers that have money or access to, to money, you know, get, a, get a gift uh, from mom and dad for that down payment, and, and we're, we're good with that. Cool. Uh, on a per on a purchase deal, Tom. I'm in contract. I got a real deal. Appraisals are ordered. Everything's cooking. I got the file with you guys. What's your turn times? You know, I know you, you know everything's a little different, but in general, pretty much, you know, what's your turn times for a purchase deal? Well, our uh, okay. A couple things to understand. One is that uh, 80 plus percent of our business is purchase. So you know, we fully understand that there's a good good chance that the loan that we're seeing has been in process somewhere else or it, it's just been worked and, and we're kind of getting it at the end of the end of the line, so to speak. And we also know that the closing date probably hasn't changed. You know, that's a fixed date in a contract. So we are very committed to getting these loans closed promptly and on time and still meeting the closing dates. Our average turn time from start to finish, this is from the first time we see it until we fund the loan, is 21 days. 21 days. And I will tell you, we, 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 ex we actually exceed that number all the time. We're a couple days in underwriting um, and, and, and a couple days to clear conditions. So, you know, a lot of the other things, as long as we can get a good loan sent to us and the conditions sent to us in a timely manner, we're going to get those loans closed and get them into closing. Cool. All right, we're going to go ahead and move to the questions that people have on the webinar here, and we're going to go. I want you to. We've only got. I promise these guys we get them out of here in in six minutes. So, um, okay, got it. this is this is going to be your shortest, you know, from point A to point B answer on all these questions that uh, I pick up here. You ready, Tom? Uh, you, you, know, you know, I'm not good at that. Right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, first one is from oh, Gino. Yeah. From Gino, uh, we, he did notice that there's residual income requirements. Uh, how do they how do you calculate residual income? Um, it, it is just simply the income that's left over after all debts are paid. Okay, and, cool. And it's and it's a fixed dollar amount. It's not based on dependents and things like that. It's it's just a set dollar amount. Okay, cool. And, and uh, we would and, and the account executive would tell you that uh, for each for each uh, loan scenario. Okay, excellent. Um, here's a good one. This is from Patrick. And just uh, what documents uh, need to be collected from the borrower for a full application for Angel Oak? Uh, well, you know, f for a full application, it, it's really not going to be any different. If it's a full doc documented borrower, fully, you know, full income documentation, we're going to need the same things that are needed with a Fannie Mae loan. You know, we're going we're gonna to need. Um, Asset statements. We're going to need W-2s. We're going to run 4506Ts. You know, it's it's a very similar process. So you know, nothing's going to be different. We'll work with you and, and clarify, you know, loan by loan what would be needed if there is anything unique. But you know, income and asset documentation are the, the standard the stuff. Key. And obviously, if it's a 24 month yeah. bank statement deal, 24 month bank statements. So um, yes. Yes. Okay, um, somebody wanted us to run through the uh, phone app again. That was Scott. Scott, again, it's on the recording. You'll get that tomorrow. Won't, we won't worry about that here right now. Uh, someone is asking, do you have tech support to help turn a flyer into an email blast? And I'm pretty sure your flyers are just saved as a PDF file, right? Right, Tom? Absolutely. Yeah, okay. they're, they're PDFs, so we don't, we don't offer the tech support behind it. But when you click on that web page, once you're approved with us, it, it's already a PDF on your screen, so okay. you just save it and it's yours. So what I, you're, the best you're going to be able to do there, guys, probably is just attach that PDF and, and email blast it. So, mm -hmm. okay, let's see. Um, okay, so somebody's saying I need to get a password set up. How do I get set up? Thanks, and that would be they have to go through 
the broker approval process and once I guess they're approved is there any extra steps they need to take to get a password set up no that's part of the approval process once someone goes and, and submits a broker package um, they're, they're going to get their own username and passwords uh, to access our web website if they're already approved if their company's already approved then we have one really quick form that needs to be filled out that gives us your you know, NMLS information, contact information, things like that, and, and we can get that to you uh, real quickly. Okay. Um, here's, a, here's a good one. Um, on your bank statement programs, do you have to send the approved file to an investor to sign off, or do you guys sign off on it? Absolutely and, not. No, we, we, we are, we've been doing this for, for th over three years. Um, we approve and close loans our, ourselves. Um, so, so no, there's no, there's no final review prior to closing. You know, again, you talk about we're 21 days at, on average from start to finish. There's really not time to do that. <laughs> you know, I don't, I don't yeah. know how we could pull that off and still, still meet these uh, closing dates that are that are always looming. Yep. Okay, good. Um, somebody's asking about, you know, uh, when you're meeting a realtor. Or referral source for the first time how to best describe non QM loans and he said would non Fannie Freddie loans be an accurate description I would say sure that's that's definitely an accurate accurate description but yeah, yeah, yeah go non, ahead What's non, your thoughts? Non yeah. yeah non agency is, is, a, is a good descriptor so whether it's FHA which would be considered more government but Fannie Mae it's just it's just outside the box it's you know we, we use the, the phrase alternative Alternative lending, alternative loans um, for those that can't qualify for, for the traditional type financing. Okay, we got Gregory saying, if I fall out for a paper, oh, oh if I fall out of a paper, that's what I mean. Paper. You say, yeah. Um, can I transfer the appraisal? Yes, absolutely. We, we, we allow transfer to appraisals. Okay, let's see. You're doing good, Tom. I just want you to know that. You're answering very fast. Uh, I'm trying to keep it. Sweet, sweet, sweet. That, was, that was your directive, Frank. This this might be a little lengthy. Uh, do your best. What are condominium requirements? Um, we do not. Uh, we allow non warrantable condos, but you know there's so many pieces of what makes up warrantability. So I can't really go through all of them. I will tell you that one of the number one non warrantable condo. Um, re restriction that we do not have is investor concentration. So warrantability typically has a cap. I believe it's 50%. We do not have that same cap. So if investor concentration is 80%, 90%, whatever, we're, we're going to be okay with that. Wow, that's a good one. And this question uh, actually answers another question that I kind of skipped but because th this one sums it up better. Um, are bank statement programs focused on personal or business bank statements wow that's a great question either one we offer both it's for the borrower who has a business and they pay themselves pretty consistently every single month we have a personal bank statement loan and the beautiful thing about that is all we're looking at is their what comes in as income over the 12 month period or the 24 month we'll do we'll do either and we average those deposits and that's their income that we use we have a business bank statement loan for the borrower who kind of they just they don't transfer that money into their personal account. So we look at bank statement income and a, a profit and loss statement. That's and and we're going to use the profit from their P and Ls, and that's the income that we use for them to qualify. Cool. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Uh, do you do they have to provide their own credit report, or will you run credit if they send it straight to you without credit being pulled? No, we would. Uh, for, from a prequal standpoint, we need we need your credit report. So we we will uh, pull a credit report at time of submission from a QC standpoint, but that's really all we're using it for is QC. So no, we would work off of, of your credit report. Okay, great. Um, with that, I'm going to go ahead. There's just a handful of other little questions that I'll let you guys get directly to these guys with, Tom. Um, okay. And because uh, it's we're right up at 10:45, uh, my time, 1:45 your time. So I just want to, you know, go ahead and sign this off so we don't keep people too long. 
Um, there's just a okay. few more questions, and these are easily easily answered by the AE. So, guys, just so you know, Angel Oak is going to have all these questions. It's pretty much, you know, within probably an hour of us finishing this. Um, I'm sure that they'll get these questions, you know, disseminated out to the appropriate AEs. That'll give you guys a call and uh, answer them for you. Yeah. So, so with that, we'll go ahead and close this thing up. And I just want to thank you, Tom, for 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 doing this and being on the show and being a partner of ours. We're really uh, we're really glad. You know we're we're partners together on on uh, on the show with you and because you do provide so much value out there to the to the to the yep uh, well, the loan officers well, we in the appreciate room. you as well Frank so um, just want to say and yeah I would I would just say re reach out to me and uh, phone or email and we'll be happy to help all right excellent stuff thanks again Tom and thank you everybody for showing up and uh, we will catch up with you guys on the Nash Real Estate Post and of course get a hold of Angelo get a hold of Tom and. Get these non-QM deals going. So with that, we're going to say bye-bye and adios. See you, Tom. Good deal. Thank you, Frank. See ya.